I mean, I was praying, ask the Lord about a message for homecoming day. And he gave me some scripture I want to share with you today concerning a homecoming that I don't want to miss. Amen. See, we have our homecomings, our outings at the church, and oh, we have such a good time. But I want to preach to you about a homecoming that's going to take place, and you don't want to miss it. That's right. Because there's going to be a lot of things that are going on at that homecoming, and you won't know nothing about it if you miss it. That's right. And how you prepare to this homecoming that I'm going to preach about today is repenting of your sins, making things right with God, and then you'll have a right to this homecoming that I'm going to speak about today. So I need your prayers to pray for me today. I'd like to uh, just tell you, if you're here today and you haven't made ready for this homecoming that I want to preach about today, today would be a good day to make things right with the Lord, and then you'll be able to go to that homecoming that I'm going to speak about today. Uh, John 14, uh, uh, the chapter 14, I'm going to begin reading at the first verse, and Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Now you know when you have homecomings, they sing you have to prepare. You have to make ready. This homecoming that I'm speaking about today, you have to prepare for it and you have to make ready. Yeah, good. That's the main thing is to prepare and make ready for the homecoming that we're going to have when Jesus returns. And Jesus said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. See, you have to prepare for his coming again. Jesus is going to come back. People say, well, I've heard that all of my life. Well, that's still not going to stop his coming. He said in the word, he's even told them, he said, I'm coming again. And he wants us to be ready when he comes that we can go to that place he went to prepare for us. Amen. Oh, thank God for the, the words that Jesus told us. He said, I'm going away. I'm going to prepare you a place that you can come and be there if you'll make ready. Yeah. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. See, Jesus has done made the, he's made the promise that he's coming back, and he said that we can be there also. If we will make ready and prepare. See, there's something that we have to do. We have to prepare and make ready. For this homecoming that I'm talking about, not just a church homecoming, but it's going to be a gathering together with the Lord Jesus Christ to never have to depart anymore. Amen. Praise God. It won't be like gathering at a homecoming at the church and, and maybe having a good meal and a good fellowship and, and then having to leave and go our separate ways. But the homecoming I'm talking about today, you'll be united together with the Lord and to never have to depart anymore and praise God he's made the promise uh, that he was going away and that he was going to come again. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. He's coming back after a people that have made themselves ready. 
He's wanting you to be ready uh, when he comes uh, uh, that you can go and be with him. Uh, praise God that you'll never have to leave that homecoming. Yeah. Uh, I hate to see these down here in, but listen, we're headed to a place uh, where there'll be no end to it. Uh, praise God, everything will be well there. You don't have to worry about eating too much. Uh, everything is going to be all right. Uh, uh, praise God forever. But I'm telling you, that's the homecoming you don't Amen. want to miss. Right uh, you want to prepare and to make ready uh, uh, for that homecoming. Yeah. Good. Ain't nobody can cheat you out but yourself. Amen. You know you have to prepare and make ready to go to a homecoming down here. You're going to have to prepare and make ready to go to that a homecoming in the air. Oh, praise God. People don't believe that uh, we're going to have a gathering in the air, but uh, the Bible teaches me that we're going to be called up uh, to be with him in the air. And listen, we'll always be with him. Yeah. yeah. Woo. That's right. I'm so glad that I know him today. Yeah. I'm so happy for another homecoming that he's allowed me to see down here. But I'm more happier about the one that I'm headed uh, after this life is over. That's God. the one that excites me, Brother Doug, yeah. uh, is to know that my Jesus uh, went and prepared a place for me. Uh, and he, he made the promise, uh, I'll come back again. Yeah. I'll receive you uh, that where I am, uh, there you may be yeah, also. Uh, that's what excites me, Brother yeah. Tommy, yeah. is to know that uh, my Jesus is coming back uh, and he's coming after a people that have made themselves ready. Amen. Amen. How you get ready? How you repent of your sins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you come to the knowledge of the truth of God's word. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about Jesus. Yeah. And because, uh, hey listen, he's made me promises uh, that nobody else has ever made me. People will make you promises in this life and they will fail in their promises. They'll tell you things they're going to do and they'll not do them. But I'm telling you about it. Jesus has made you a promise. Hallelujah. I'm coming back again. I'll receive you to where I am. There you may be also. And he's not a slack concerning his promise. That's right. That's what makes me happy. That's exactly because right. uh, his promises, uh, they are sure. Amen. He, he don't tell you one thing uh, and then turn around and do another. Uh, but he'll do exactly what he tells yes. you. That's right. And he's done promised you. He'll go away. And then he'll come again. A lot of people said, well, all the Jesus you see is what you see in me. I got news for you. And my Bible said every eye is going to behold him. Every knee should bow. Every tongue should confess yeah. that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory yeah. of God the Father. That's right. Hallelujah. That's what I'm depending upon. Yeah. I believe I look upon the face of Jesus one yeah. day as the one that gave his life that I could have a right to the place he went to prepare. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I get excited when I talk about this man called Jesus. Amen. You know, the Bible said God gave him a name that's above every name, name. Uh, that every knee should bow and every tongue should confess uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, yeah. To the glory of God the Father. Yeah. He's got a name that's above every name. Hallelujah. You can begin to call on the name of Jesus uh, and the devils begin to tremble. Yeah. Uh, why? Because there's power yeah. in the name of Jesus glory Christ of Nazareth. I uh, see when uh, Peter and John were going up and uh, to the temple uh, to pray uh, and the lame man was laying there. Uh, he'd been lame from his mother's womb but uh, listen, these two fellas went up to pray uh, and he was there begging for arms uh, uh, but listen, these guys that went up there to pray they had more than money could buy. Uh, praise God. Listen, uh, they, they took the old boy by the hand uh, and they lifted him up uh, and they told him said, silver and gold uh, have I none, but such as I have, is give I thee, in the name of 
of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk. And the Bible said he went into the temple and lived and praised God. God. Yeah. And because he had got a hold of something that money could not. Hallelujah. Buy. That's right. On. Hallelujah. Yeah. I have yeah. something today that money came by. I praise God. I listen, it was purchased one day on Calvary yeah. when Jesus went there and gave us sins in the whole world. That's why I'm excited. He gave me something the world didn't have to offer me. Yeah. Oh, that God forever. That's good. Why you act like you do? Because I'm free. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He set me free. Yeah. That's why I act like I do. Yeah. That's why I'm not afraid of everybody. <laughs> Bless it, Lord. He takes the fear out. Yeah. Perfect love. Perfect love casts out all fear. <laughs> Hallelujah. People say, I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? If you have Jesus living within, have him in your life, there's no need to be afraid. Just why that smile and keep looking on. Hallelujah. Prepare for that homecoming one day. Yeah. Hey Amen. Don't worry. You won't have to just uh, eat and leave. Yeah. <laughs> you can just keep on grazing forever. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Hey, going in and out and finding pasture. Uh, Brother Tommy, there'll be no end to it. I uh, uh, praise God forever. Oh, I'm so happy about it today, uh, knowing that I'm heading somewhere and I know where I'm heading. Yeah. Woo! I ain't much about traveling on these highways and finding where I'm going, but listen. That road map that leads to glory, if we'll follow that, uh, we'll end up in the right place. That's right. We'll make it to that homecoming uh, uh, where there'll never be an end to it. Uh, and what I'm trying to get across today, uh, if you haven't prepared uh, and you haven't made ready for that homecoming, uh, uh, today would be a good day uh, yeah. uh, that I can say I remembered uh, that homecoming at Berwyn uh, uh, that I prepared uh, and I made ready yeah. for that homecoming yeah. in the Hallelujah. air. Well, we'll on. never have to depart anymore, but we can be together forever. Hallelujah. Oh, preacher. hallelujah. Yeah. What a thought to have today yeah. is to know that I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, and I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God forever. It's all right to praise God and to lift up his name. Yeah. I can't help it. Because I want to. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll share this with you again. When I was working in the coal mines, I, I'd get my bucket and go to work because I had to. Uh, to make a living and provide uh, for my family. But i get my Bible and i head to church because I want to. Hallelujah. Amen. He gave me a walk to Brother Red yeah. to serve him and to live for him and all the promises that he, he has given me. Yeah. That's good. He said I could eat the good of the land. Yeah. I'm eating it today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Yes. I'm preaching about homecoming. You have to prepare. You have to make ready for homecoming yeah. down here. Somebody has to work and prepare and make ready. And for that homecoming that I'm talking about, hey amen, you have to prepare for it. I repent of your sins. Come to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And then you'll be preparing to go to that place yeah. he went to prepare for you. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Whew. Hallelujah. That fire shut up in my bones. Hey amen. Praise God, you just can't help it, Sister Keller. That's the way it is. I, I, Jeremiah said it's like fire. I shut up in yeah. my bones. Oh, praise God, we need more of the fire in our bones yeah. uh, that we can glorify the Lord uh, and to uh, lift up his name uh, and say, thank God uh, I'm ready for the homecoming in the air when Jesus comes yeah. back. Whew, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get preaching. 
Don't shout me down while I'm preaching. Oh, praise God. Listen, I'm talking about a homecoming. We're at a homecoming today. And tomorrow, we don't know, we might be done joining the one in the air. Amen. We don't know when we have to go out of here. But bless God, we can know that our sins are under the blood of Jesus Christ. And we're making ready for that homecoming in the air. Amen. Praise God. If you're here today at this homecoming, you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior. Today would be a good day to get to know him. Yes. You might say, preacher, how you get to know him? Down on your knees, way I got to know him. Yeah. Asking him to forgive me of my sins. He came into me. He, he let his spirit come within me. He gave me a desire to serve him and to live for him. I'm not tired of my journey yet. I know where I'm headed. Amen. Nobody can keep me from going but just me. Yeah. It's, it's entirely up to the individual. Nobody can repent of your sins for you. You have to do that. He wants you to come. He wants you to come and say, Lord, I need you to help me to prepare for that homecoming in the air. Yeah. One that we won't have to depart and go our separate ways anymore. Yeah. One where we'll ever be with the Lord. That's right. Yeah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you he's coming again. I just read where he told the people. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm coming again. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah, he's coming again. Because mm -hmm. he said he was. Yeah. But he also said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. And it's room for all. Yeah. It's going to be room for all. We don't have a lot of room here for a lot more in here today. But this meeting I'm talking about, this homecoming, yeah. it's going to be room for all. Just make ready to go to that meeting. That homecoming. Oh, you're talking about a hallelujah meeting. Get over there with all the saints of old that stand out stepped us in life. Whew. Glory to God for that. Going to be a time. I don't want to miss that time either. I have good times down here, but I'm going to have a better one up there. Amen. This old fleshly body gets kind of wore down sometime, but Lord, I'm going to have a body over there that I can shout for a million years Amen. and I won't even be tired. Yeah. Talking about a tongue being loose when it's tied on both ends. Brother, I'm here to tell you it's going to be a time in glory when we get over on the other side. Yeah. Amen. That's the homecoming I want to I be sure that I'm ready to go to. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm telling you today? Yeah. Amen. It's very plain, it's very simple. The only way that the only thing you have to do is repent and make your heart. He's ready, to, he's ready to take you in. He's ready to make you a candidate for that homecoming in the air. I can't make you ready. I can just tell you about what event's going to take place. Jesus, he said that he was going away. He's going to prepare a place for us. And he said, I'm coming again. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for his return. Amen. Yeah. And I want to be ready when he comes. Amen. I don't want to be dragging my feet. Amen. But I want to be ready. Yeah. Praise God. When he comes, I want to meet him with a smile. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that I didn't have to go to hell. You made a place I could, made a way of an escape that I don't have to go. People don't have to go to hell. Jesus has made a way of an escape. Yeah. You don't have to go. He went to Calvary and gave his life and that you don't have to go. Amen. But if you don't accept him, you choose to go the other direction. Amen. Accept him into your life. Amen. Let him come into your life and let him save you. And you're talking about homecomings is much more better. 
And the good part of that, I said, well, we've had it down here this year, but I'm still looking for that one to come. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. The journey gets sweeter every day. Amen. You might say, preacher, how, how does the journey get sweeter when everything looks so bad around you? I'm getting closer home. Yeah. That's why the journey gets sweeter. It's because I'm getting closer home. Amen. Hallelujah. This is just a place to get ready. Yeah. Over home is going to be where God's people are yeah. and where Jesus is going to be the light of that city. Praise yeah. God. I'm here to tell you that's what excites me is to know I'm going to a place if the, the power won't go out. That's right. Your lights won't grow dim. Yeah. He's going to be the light of that city. Mm -hmm. Down here, yeah, sometimes you lose your power, the lights go out, and you stumble around in the dark hunting for your light. But up there, I'm here to tell you, you won't need a light. You don't need a flashlight to, to find your way. Jesus is going to be the light of that city. Yeah. Oh, praise God. That's good, Arnold. What about that? Now listen, the thought I want you to take home with you. You have to prepare for a homecoming. Yeah. He's yeah. wanting you to prepare for the homecoming. He's going to, he's going to serve one day. Yeah. He's going to come and he's going to gather his people together. Are you talking about a homecoming with no end? Yeah. Oh, Lord Jesus. That excites me. If it don't excite you, you need to pray. <laughs> you need to get things yeah. right. To where you get excited about going somewhere, oh, yeah. and besides going to the place that the, for the devil's heading with his angels. Yeah. There is a place prepared. Yeah. But I'm afraid the people that go there, it's not going to be a good homecoming. No. That's right. But if you go where Jesus went and prepared the place for you, you're going to a, a homecoming where there'll be no end. Yeah. Yeah. The best is yet to come. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I know Jesus today. Oh, yeah. I said I was taught about him from just a child up. But I didn't get to know him until I fell on my knees and asked him to come into my life. Yeah. Then I got to know who Jesus was. Amen. He become my Lord and Savior yeah. when I asked him to forgive me my sins. Yeah. He came into my life and changed my life. Yeah. He done something for me that nobody else could do. He helped me to prepare for that homecoming in the air. Yeah. Hallelujah. I say, well, you're awful old to be crying. I'm excited about where I'm headed. I said, Lord, don't let me ever get too big to shed tears for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm glad he changed my heart. He changed my mind. And he changed my soul. Oh, he forgave me of all my sins. And cast them into the sea of forgetfulness to never be remembered anymore. Oh, what a Savior he is to do a thing like that for you and I. Yeah, man. Yeah, he'll forgive us of our sins. And he won't wait till tomorrow and bring them up. He forgets about it. Yeah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. How great he is. Listen, people, if you've never prepared for that homecoming in the air, make ready while you still have a place and opportunity. Make ready while the blood is still flowing through your veins. And you can say, Lord, forgive me where I failed and come short of your glory. I don't want to miss that homecoming that's going to take a, a place one day. I want to be ready to go. I don't want nothing to, to hinder me from being a part of that homecoming. Amen. Amen. I enjoy the homecomings we have down here, but it can't compare to what's going to be over on the other side. Right on. 
song that we sing sometimes, I done failed enough to I know I want to go. Yeah. Praise God. When I can feel his love yeah. and his spirit, I know I want to go. Yeah. Praise God. He wants us to be ready to go when he comes. People that's growing late. I'm not talking about late in the day. It's growing late in time. Yes, sir. Jesus is coming back like he said. He said, I'm coming again. Go and receive us. That word he is, that we may be also. You have to make ready to meet him when he returns. I'm going to close. I don't know how long I'll preach, but I don't pay attention to my watch when I'm preaching. I preach to the Lord history with me, and then I quit. Amen. But the thought is today, are you ready for that great homecoming that's going to take place one day? If you're not ready, you can make ready. You can make ready right here at this homecoming today and say, Lord, I was at a homecoming at Berwyn. That preacher preached to me about a homecoming that's going to take place in the air. That's the one that I want to be yes, in. Sir. That's the one that I want to have part of. Praise God. And the good part, I won't have to cook a meal to take. 